Good evening, everyone. We're at the home of the Schwarz-Gelben, as they're known here in Germany, Borussia Dortmund, and what a venue this is. My name's Derek Ray, and joining me for commentary on this game is the former Arsenal and England fullback Lee Dixon. And tonight we've got the semi-final of the Champions League coming up for you. It is Borussia Dortmund against Paris Saint-Germain. Yeah, thanks, Derek. I'm so, so excited for the players. I really am. I love playing in semi-finals. Didn't play in the Champions League semi-final, mind. But you find out about yourself in a semi-final. Can you control your emotions? Can you commit to the game plan? We're just about to find out. Very, very excited. And green space galore for PSG. And introducing the Borussia Dortmund side. Roman Burki gets the nod in goal. Mats Hummel starts alongside Manuel Akanji in central defence. Marco Reus plays with Jadon Sancho out wide. And in this tactical setup, they have just the one player in attack. And the PSG team looks like this. Keylor Navas gets the nod in goal. Marquinhos plays alongside Thiago Silva in central defence. And up front, Kylian Mbappe plays with Mauro Icardi up front. delivery into the box and he really is danger personified but in this game Lee what do you think we might see from him well he's a talented player but he's got that one thing the big P what we all hate as defenders pace soon as you've got that you start looking behind you who's on the cover Di Maria now Exquisite pass from Di Maria. Incredible instinctive goalkeeping. Yeah, he didn't have long to react, did he? But you have to praise his reflexes there. And firing it into the... Punching it clear. And Neymar... Crossed accurately towards the far post. And a strong glove on the ball from the keeper. Marco Reus. Let's see if the pass will pay dividends. Reus... Looking confident with the ball at his feet. Can he take advantage? And a goal it is, the opener in this game. Well, keep it tight, that's what both managers would have been insane. But now the opening goal's gone in. Tactics have got to change. Well, here it is again, Derek. The weight of the pass is excellent and the finish, clinical. Lovely play. Back underway, Borussia Dortmund with the advantage. Here's Icardi. Verratti. Lost it. Well, I can remember watching PSG when they didn't have the attached glamour that is part of the story now. It's always intriguing watching them in the Champions League these days, Lee. Well, it is when they're in a position to go out, really, and buy any player they want. That does not give you an advantage, especially when it comes to winning your own league, but also in the Champions League as well. Neymar. Here is Juan Bernat. Well, they have the ball once more. And attempting the through ball. Crossing this, might be a chance here. Oh, oh it's in for Borussia Dortmund. It is going their way. Well, here's the replay. It comes off the keeper, and he's every right to ask where his defenders are. They were second to react, and he's in the back of the net. Well, let's go back to the goal that was scored. Second goal for them here. Thiago Silva. And the advantage is with PSG. Icardi. Fluency of movement. 
Jadon Sancho. Brandt with it. Witzel. And here's Brandt. And the danger cleared. Well, they have been growing and growing as a football club in recent years. Paris Saint-Germain now at the semi-final stage of the Champions League. It means so much, Lee. Well, it does. It just validates all that money that they've spent and the players will be really excited about getting to the possibly the Champions League final, but they've still got some work to do. And with some of the world's best players, you'd expect them to get to the final. Often tempting to blow your whistle straight away, but the referee let it flow and then went back and handed out the yellow card. Well, he thought he got away with it, hadn't he? He looked over his shoulder, then all of a sudden the referee's there with the yellow card. Marco Reus. Reus cuts inside, what's next? And a foul in the opinion of the referee. Now, what can they do from this free kick situation? Disappointingly, straight into the wall. And not too far away, just a bit too much height on it. Well, the keeper's beaten. He's gone for precision over power. It's a good effort. The ball with Marco Reus. And it's a story of forward momentum from Borussia Dortmund. Can they produce? And he's only gone and made it a hat-trick. Well, when he's in this sort of mood, he's absolutely unstoppable. What a performance. Well, having scored two, he's going to get the hat-trick at some point, you feel. He's just so full of confidence. Never looked like missing. has been one-sided but they deserve the plaudits for the fact that they've kept going and going here is Juan Bernat Verratti now Bernat well the perfect tackle really and now a throw in has a go and just the header that was required. The goal they were in search of. Well, here's a replay. I never liked rebound goals off goalkeepers. The defenders should be there. Probably would have been my fault. On that occasion, his defenders went missing. So there it is. 3-1 the current scoreline here. And given away by Dortmund. Gay. Di Maria. Here's Marquinhos. Di Maria. Idrissa Gay. Verratti. And now Gay. The referee's verdict is three additional minutes. A bit sloppy in possession. Tremendous intuition to win it back. This is Neymar. This is Thiago Silva. Bernat. And there the first half ends here in Dortmund. Second half of this Champions League semi-final first leg underway. This is Neymar. Neymar. Mauro Icardi here. Just looking for the right moment for that final pass. Schultz. Royce. For Dortmund, there is quite a lot of running room. Opportunity it is. And the goalkeeper, Lee, a picture of concentration. Well, he had his eye on the ball. He waited for the striker and then he smothered it. It's really, really good goalkeeping. That's all they can conjure for now.
Neymar. Here's Marquinhos. Gay. Here's Icardi. Verratti now. Here's Mbappe. Might be able to get in behind the defence. And that is how to thwart them. Breaking at pace. Verratti. Gay. Here's Icardi. Verratti now. Bernat. Now can he deliver accurately? Well, they stopped them in their tracks. Julian Brandt gliding through the gears. And it's gone behind for the corner. Substitution it is for PSG. So the corner played into the box. And now Gay. Half an hour remaining then. This is Neymar. Gay. Here is Juan Bernat. Verratti. Mbappe. Now Neymar. And no luck for Neymar in the passing department. Schultz. And attempting the through ball. Sancho. Danger averted for now. PSG are going to switch things around on the personnel front. Witzel. Schultz. Reus. And Witzel with it. Delaney. Axel Witzel. Patient build-up at the moment. Delaney. And Julian Brandt. Brandt! Might still be able to do a bit of damage. Manuel Akanji. Jaden Sancho. Axel Witzel. Delaney. And now Brandt. Brandt! The goals keep going in for them. I don't think they're going to throw this away now. Absolutely omnipotent. Well, as we look at this again, what they always say, focus on the ball, ensure you strike it cleanly. He's done just that. What a finish. So they restart the game and only one team in it. Says Neymar. Di Maria. Di Maria. Di Maria. Nothing doing on the passing front. 15 minutes remaining. Now with Akimi. Really showing off his wide range of passing skills. Witzel, Brandt, Delaney, Brandt, they might be able to get in now, just drifted into the illegal position, offside in the opinion of the officials, and Dortmund will go to the bench. Now Minier. Pablo Sarabia. Edinson Cavani now. This is Neymar. And the goal kick is the outcome.
now with Hakimi. Delaney. Dahoud. Neymar. Mbappe with it. Mbappe. Van Laat. PSG on the move with purpose. What can they do from this particular position? You never really know, Lee, if it's going to come off when you hit it on the volley in that fashion. Yeah, hero to zero. When he struck that, you think, wow, and then all of a sudden you realise where it's gone. Hakimi. Jaden Sancho. Now Thomas Delaney. Good, sir. Fruitful looking attack. That is how to keep it out of the net. Keylor Navas. Going short. It came to nothing. Good, sir. Dahoud. Delaney. Effective challenge. And the referee has added on two minutes of stoppage time. Sancho now. Mario Götze. Referee had to be mindful of what was going on, the injury situation, and hence he has stopped playing. And they'll get things going again with a drop ball. Goalkeeper's ball every day. The final whistle, and Borussia Dortmund are in control. They'll take a lead with them into the second leg. Wow, Derek.